Welcome Wargamers, Josh and Beverly here to bring you another Age of Sigmar War of the Realms bat rep. Today we're going to be trying 1500 points. I'm going to be playing the Fire Slayers, still kind of continuing the quest of trying to figure out how to play them correct. And Quirk's going to try out the High Elves. Let's check out the armies and the board. Start off looking at 1500 points of Fire Slayers. Get this out of the way first, I'm running the Lords of the Lodge War Scroll Battalion. Consists of one orc rune father or rune father on magma draw, so it's going to be him on foot right in the middle of there. And then a orc rune master and an orc, or sorry, a uh, orc rune master and a battlesmith. Here are them flanking him. And then one unit of hearthguard berserkers, and the unit in the formation is going to be the ones with the two handed axes. 160 points, so kind of an expensive formation, but gives me some cool stuff. First one is hot blooded fury. Once for battle, before rolling the dice, you take the first turn in the battle round. I declare that I will seize the initiative, and I add one to the result of the roll for each hero from the Lords of the Lodge that's on the battlefield. Look at me, a total of plus three, so kind of cool. Everybody's still alive. And then Oathbound Guardians. Uh, it's the duty of Hearthguard Berserkers to defend their lords in the field of battle. The way this works is the Hearthguard Berserkers and the Lords of the Lodge, which again is the two-handed axes can be selected to pile in and attack twice in the combat phase, but only if they're within six of a hero that's also part of the battalion the second time they are selected. Kind of cool. In addition to that, we've got another unit of Hearthguard Berserkers behind them with the, oh, the name escapes me, the Flails. Behind the heroes, I've got some Orc Hearthguard, and then I got a nice big healthy unit of 25 Volkite Berserkers that are armed with the um, shields, and that makes up just about 1500 points. I should be sitting at about 14, I think it was 1440 or so. As far as command traits and artifacts, the Rune Father is going to be the uh, general of the army. So I gave him the Relic Blade and he is also Reckless. And then because I took a War Score Battalion, I get an extra artifact, which is going to be the Phoenix Stone, putting that onto the Battlesmith. Over here we have the High Elves. I'm gonna be bringing a Prince on a Griffin, a Frost Heart, I've got a Bolt Thrower, five Silver Helms, two units of 20 Spearmen, and I've actually got two units of 10 Archers here in the middle. The War Scroll Battalion that I'm taking is the Glittering Host, which has two abilities. One is Valor of Ages, which makes it so that I can roll two dice instead of one and discard the highest when taking Battle Shock tests. It also has Martial Prowess, which means that at the Start of the combat phase, or pardon me, once per turn, during the combat phase, I can pick a second unit in this battalion to pile in and make melee attacks. Now, that means that basically it's not one, one person goes in, the next person goes, I can have two units go. And this will apply to the High Elf Prince, the two units of Archers, the two units of Spearmen, and the one unit of Silver Helms. And then the artifacts that I'm giving my Prince are going to be the Quicksilver Potion, which makes it so that he can attack before all other models in combat. And my command trait is going to be Reckless which means that I can reroll all run and charge rolls for any friendly order unit within 10 inches of my general. This is the board Quirk and I are going to be playing on. Go over deployment real quick first. I've got a giant group of, well, mostly naked angry dwarves right in the middle here. So we've got my one unit of Hearthguard Berserkers, Hearthguard Berserkers, my Battlesmith, my Rune Master. Bossman is right up front, that is the Rune Father. Big old healthy unit of 25 Volkite Berserkers, and then my Orc Hearthguard. Across the board, I'm looking at Silver Helms, Archers, the Prince, uh, Frostheart in the middle with two units of Spearmen behind him. We've got the Bolt Thrower, and then we've got the Archers. We are doing the Gift from the Heaven scenario, which means that in each of our second hero phases, we're going to roll a D3. So for me on my side, uh, if I roll one, two or three. That's what section of the board a meteorite comes down. Those are our objectives. If you hold the objective at the end of your turn, then it's worth however many points uh, for whatever turn it is. Same thing for Quirk. On his second turn, he will have a meteor come down. Now, before the battle starts, you need to pick, because of the Rune Master, one unit to be holding some Ur Gold, which lets you reroll wound rolls of one but I get a bonus if I get my Rune Master within 10. Do you know what unit you want to use? That would be the Prince. The Prince is going to be the one holding yeah. the Urgold? Yeah, because everything else already has shields and rerolls ones. Okay, so you're going to reroll wound rolls of one. 
pretty cool setup. Uh, and if I get him within, I believe it's 10 inches, then for the rest of the battle, everybody attacking that prince gets an extra attack. Quirk did finish deploying his army first, so do you want to go first in the first battle round or you want to give that to me? Actually, I'm going to give that to you. Okay, yeah. so it's going to be Fire Slayers, turn one. Start my hero phase off with using my Lord's Command ability. So the Rune Father's going to use Lodge Leader. So all Fire Slayers with an aid of him uh, can move up to five inches when they pile in. In addition, each time the Rune Father suffers a wound or mortal wound, I pick a Fire Slayer unit from my army within three roll aid dice. If it's a four or more, then the unit suffers the wound instead of the Rune Father. Battlesmith is going to use the icon of Grimnir, so all Fire Slayer units from the army within eight um, get to reroll failed save rolls. Onto my movement, it's going to be pretty boring because I just kind of want to push up the board. So keep in mind, I've got Reckless as my command trait, so I get to reroll uh, run rolls within 10 of him if I want, which will be everybody in the army except for the Orc Hearth Guard. So let's start by running them. They're going to go four plus another five for a nine inch move total. I don't need to be too crazy aggressive with them. Next up, let's try sending the Volkite Berserkers up the field. So they're gonna run four plus another one. Reroll that with Reckless for six, so a 10 inch move. Ah. Moving, moving, moving. That's everybody from that unit. Try this unit of Hearthguard Berserkers next. Five, I'll keep that. So they're gonna go a total of nine inches. Okay, we'll start to make their way up this way. And not too shabby, let's try the Battlesmith now. So he is gonna go four plus another five, 10 inch move. Works for me. I mean nine inch move. Oh yeah, my bad. Trying to cheat. Send the Rune Father. Uh, keep pretty much, yeah. He can't go that far. Do I wanna jump him to cover? They won't quite be able to sit and cover, so we'll just sit them right here. The Rune Duder. Four plus, yep. Up he goes. Last but not least, uh, last unit of Aura Carthguard. Eight inch move, more than enough. Kind of boring, that's my turn. All right, Davey, what are we starting off with in the Euro phase? Uh, I'm going to do the command ability uh, glittering charge. So anything that's within 16 inches when they charge can reroll the charge distance. Ooh, fancy. Anything else in the hero phase? Yeah, that's it. Silver helms are going to move up 12. Why is your stuff so fast? Because we're elves. <sighs> On speedy elven horses? Yes. Hmm. Archers are going to move up their six. Yeah, everything's annoyingly fast. I gotta get you tied up in combat. Yep, you do. And these archers are gonna go right over here. They're coming up to threaten against the um, Hearthguard Berserkers. Yep. Spearmen are gonna just move up their six ish to right here. Frost Phoenix is gonna back up and make room for these spearmen. So the two units of 20 spearmen kind of moving up close together? Yep. That's it for your movement, so we're going to go right on to shooting. Yep. Where do you want to start? Uh, let's start with the bolt thrower. Okay. Putting shots into? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I want to fire the minus two ren D3 wounds into these guys, or if I want to do 12 shots into those guys. I'm going to fire two of the gigantic D3 wound bolts into that unit right there. Okay, of the Hearthguard Berserkers? Yep. What do you hit on? Threes. There's two hits. Wounding on threes. One wound, it's minus two rend. Minus two rend is going to put me at a six up save, which re rolls because I am close enough to my battlesmith. So it should be a six up. Nope. Re roll. Oh. There it is. I cheated. They got a five up save. Just roll your wounds, sir. So, so yeah, that went through. I didn't actually save. Okay, so D3. One. So one. And because I have a hero close by, they get to ignore wounds or mortal wounds on a four up right now. I don't, 
So somebody's got to die, and it's going to be him. Archers are going to fire next into the same unit. All right. Ten shots hitting on fours. Ew. Well, that didn't work. Wounding on fours. One. One wounding hit, and there's no rend, right? No. So I get my five up save that can reroll. Nope. Reroll. No. And then I get to ignore wounds, more wounds on a four up. Wow. Impressive. Oh, he's dead. Then these archers are going to fire into these guys. Yep, the orc hearth guard. Again, hitting on fours. A bit better. Not by a whole ton, though. Wounding on fours. Two. And I just get my five up save. Uh, no ignoring shenanigans or anything for them, and I'm too far away for the reroll. I made them both. Okay, in that case, these guys are going to charge. Alrighty, let's see if they can make it in. Six inch charge. I made it. You made it. In they go. Wah. Sending in the silver arms like so, only able to get four in because it's a little bit of a choke point there. So you're looking for what to hit? Fours and fours. Alrighty. Huh. Huh. Those were the lances, right? Those were the lances. And now some hooves? Yep. Again, this is going to be fours and then uh, fives. Fours and fives, okay. Oh. Did you get that for the lances? Yeah, really. Two. Two winning hits. Uh, you getting kind of rend on that? Uh, there's no rend on that. So just a five up save. Fail them both. So we'll kill off uh, one and two. You get a little bit of piling in and swinging, not a whole lot though. He can pile closer to him, so he can pile up to there. I'm only gonna get, yeah, a couple guys able to swing. With the magma pikes, I'm looking for fours to hit. Ooh. And then threes to wound. They're angry little dwarves. Three wounding hits, no right. rend. Okay, four up save. Two die. Probably two wounds each. Yep, so one dice. Need to roll Battle Shock. Uh, so the Orc Hearth Guard, we are on Bravery 7. So on a 6, I'll have somebody flee. No, we're good. We need to make the roll to see who's going to go first um, for turn 2. I could try to seize the initiative, but I don't think I'm going to go for it yet. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. So let's see what we roll. Quirk's going to get a 5 to a 2. You can go first or second. I would like to go first. Okay. And start of the hero phase, rolling to see where that meteor comes down. And three, so it's coming down over there. Landing right there, and that means my archers are controlling it. In the hero phase, I'm going to use my glittering charge command ability again, so anything within 16 in the charge phase gets to reroll the charge distance. On to your movement now. Gotta move these guys up. Still keep them all nice close together? Yeah, it makes life easier. So they're going to go right up to here. And then these guys are going to move right into here with them. So that should make this an 8 inch charge. Both big blocks of uh, spearmen ending up like so. Yep. And then the frost heart is going to go. Frost heart's going for it? Frost heart, yeah, going to go for it. Let's move. Fine and, right there. Ugh. And Mr. Griffin? Griffin is also going to go right up to here. Whoop. There we go. Bringing your entire army up, yep. except for the archers. Yep. Shooting again, gonna fire the two bolts into, actually, you know what? Let's do the 12 shots. It's a minus one rend, but it's still fours and fours. Or, sorry. 12 shots hitting on threes. Well, it was hitting on fours, winning on threes. Yeah, hitting on threes, winning on fours. Other way around. Oh, okay. Winning on fours, getting four. Mine's one run, so this time I actually do get a six up save because yep. it's base uh, five instead of four like I thought it was. So show me sixes. Saved one, then I get the re-roll for a re-rolling armor. No help. And then because I have a hero close by, they get to ignore wounds and mortal wounds on four ups. Ah, oh, saved them all. Well, let's try that again. Archers now. Gonna fire into them. Okay, Ar so. archers into the hard scared berserkers. So fours and fours. E. Eh, you can still potentially do some damage. That's, that's that. Perfectly average. And fours. Two. 
Again, pretty well average. You can pass them over. So I get my five up re-rolling armor save because no rend. Nothing so far. Still nothing. And then I get to ignore on a four up. So I'm going to lose one. Uh, who are going to kill off? This guy. These archers are then going to fire into whatever these guys are called. Those are Orc, Hearthguard. Those guys. I'm starting to learn the names and everything. I think I got most of them down, except for some of the heroes. Fours and fours again. Uh -huh. Okay, that was good. And fours. One. <laughs> One wound to get. Uh, four up to save. Oh, sorry, five up to save. You're so good at shooting. Charging. So, starting off, I'm going to have... This unit of spearmen charge in. Okay. It's an eight inch charge. To be able to make into contact with anything. And they make it. Big group spearmen charging on in. Next up, these guys are gonna go for it. They have a nine inch charge. I can re-roll it from glittering charge. Yep. Oh. Not quite making it in. Nope. So the frost heart's gonna charge in then. Uh, so, double check it. Six was indeed enough. Ka -ka. And then the Lord's gonna go for it. Yeah, that makes sense. And his charge will definitely get him into combat. So he's gonna go to here. And then he's got a six inch heroic leap so I can actually move six inches in combat anywhere I want. Which I will do when he's actually in combat. I forgot about that. So, starting off, we have the Spearman attack. Spearman is swinging first? Yep. Because there are 20 or more Spearmen, you're getting, what, two attacks each? Yep. And everybody's within reach, I can only assume, because it's yep. a two-inch reach on them? Yes, it is. So, we're looking at, you're hitting on fours. Wounding on fours, and I'm re-rolling ones on the hits. Okay. So, fours. So, we'll do the first volley of 20 there. Yep. Reroll of ones. Okay. 14 hits so far. And then the second volley of 20. Again, re-rolling all these ones. Five ones becomes, yeah, two more hits. 28 hits, now you're gonna wound me on fours? Yep. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. So now you get to see what fire slayers do. Hopefully they do what they're supposed to do. I got a four up save because I've got the shields. So I have failed four. Mm -hmm. Now I get to reroll my armor saves because of the Battlesmith. Yep. So I have failed one. Yep. And now I ignore wounds and mortal wounds on a four up because the yep. unit started with uh, 20 or more models this phase. So you have killed one. Yay. <clears throat> Next up, my High Elf Prince on Griffin is going to go and he's going to do his. I get to be attacked twice because of the formation. Right, and yeah, you get to pick two to I attack. I get to pick yeah. two to attack. So he's going to attack next. Um, and I'm going to use his ability called uh, Predatory Leap. So he can move six anywhere he wants. So he's going to jump right over here. Just to kind of force you to split up a little bit. Yep. And then he's going to attack. Swinging in with the Star Lance. That's going to be the first one. So this is hitting on threes. Good times. Ooh. Okay, okay. Next, next is going to be the Star Blade. Yep. So this is hitting on three, it's four attacks. There we go. And wounding on fours. Two wounds. Now, because you got the Urgold on him, you get to reroll the one, right? Yes, sir. the one you picked? Yep. No. What kind of rend are we looking at? No rend. No rend? Nope. So four up save, followed by a reroll of armor saves. So we're good. All right. Now the razor sharp beak. Hitting on a three. Wounding on a three. Re-rolling. Uh, yep, because he's got the ear gold. Yep, and that's minus one rend. Minus one rend. So now I get a re-rolling five up save. Nope, come on. There it is. Lastly, I have the griffin's talons. So there's six attacks here, hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. And that's going to give you a five. Roll that one. Oh, yeah. Nope. There we go. And rend? Yep, minus one. So five up re rolling. Re roll these two. 
Nope. How much damage is it? It's one damage. One damage, so then they get basically another four up to ignore wounds and mortal wounds. For no help, that's going to kill off two. Uh, we'll make it one, and he'll knock over everybody else on the way, apparently, and uh, two. Scratch that. That was dumb. Taking them from over here. So we're going to pile in and swing with these guys. We'll see where he can go without actually breaking coherency. That's what my pylon looks like. So we'll start swinging. We'll start swinging over here into your lord. Starting off, four attacks, uh, hitting on fours. There's two. And then I wound you on fours. Nope. Nope. Three swings into the phoenix now. Same thing, fours and fours. That's going to be fours and fives. Oh, yeah, because of like the... the blizzard aura. Should be fives then. Nope. Six swings from regular guys, and then the Carl are all going into your, um... German? Yeah. So how does this work? Do I get to be, is it a unit so close to him, or specific models? Any enemy models within nine inches. Okay, so that'll cover everybody I'm swinging with right now. Yeah. Fours to hit. One. Let them roll like you. And me. Nope. No help. And then the Carl. I forget that these guys are two attacks each. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna fix against the, uh, the Phoenix. Let's fix against the Phoenix first. So there's another three swings looking for fours and fives. There's one. Nope. No. And then against the. The Lord? Yep. Or sorry, I guess he's a prince. Uh, fours and fours. There's two. One. And he's got a five up now. Because of the rend? Nope. So he takes a wound. And that brings me down to nine. And then six attacks against my Spearman? Yep. Ones that I'd missed. And Doesn't they all matter because I can't roll. So now the curls, two swings. Yep. Same thing, fours and fours. One, and that's a five. But you still missed. rolled a two. Then doing this one here, I'm going to swing it uh, your guys there. So four attacks from the lances. There's one hit and one wound. Okay, so I just get my five up save. Nothing special. Nope. So I will end up losing one. Right, and then my horses are going to go. This is fours and fives. There's two. Nothing. Swing so with these four again. Uh, looking for fours and threes against those uh, knights. One. One wound. And no rent on this? No rent, so you're up with four up? Yep. Nope. That's a wound. And then the frost heart. Eight attacks from the icy talons hitting on threes. Ooh, and then wounding on threes. That's four at a minus one. So I'm gonna get a five up save re-rolling. Save, save one. one. Save two. And, and then they're four. two damage each? They are two damage each. Okay, so then these are against wounds or mortal wounds, so yep. I get my four up now. And three. three. Wah, 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 wah. I'm gonna pull against the prince just because I want to be able to get these guys in against them. And that's gonna be the end of my turn two, where I score two points because I'm holding the meteor. Uh, actually, we need to do some battle. That's the end of your turn, right? That is the end of my so turn. So we, we got some battle shock. Battle shock. Um, I pass all mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only one I gotta really worry about is these guys. Because you lost like five. I lost six. Ooh. Base bravery seven. Uh, I go up to an eight because I've got ten more models. Um, so basically losing d6 minus two. You're good. You get to roll for the meteor. Where's it gonna come down? One. Right over, there. over here. Showing up right there. Uh, that's terrible. Hero phase time, uh, we're going to use the Battlesmith ability to re-roll armor saves mm -hmm. uh, in the aura, and we're going to use Big Boss Man's command ability again, which essentially uh, everybody close to him gets to pile in five inches when they pile in, mm. and if he takes wounds on four up, I can put the wounds onto somebody else. Cool. Movement time now, I want to get over to them and start, hmm, I can't deal with everything all at the same time, so I had to kind of be smart with priority here. Because I can't afford to run away because you're just going to shoot me a bunch. So I have to go stop you from getting points. So yeah, these guys are going to start moving up this way. Up they go. 
boss man's gonna kind of just wander over to here. Next up, Battlesmith is gonna just go and grab. Does he want to grab cover? No, he didn't stay back there. Why would I bother? The little room guy's gonna move up though, and oh, I'm gonna end up moving my ending my movement within ten, so everybody's gonna get an extra swing against him when they do. No. And with that, let's bring the hearth guard over. <laughs> On to shooting now, because literally everything in my army shoots. Um, we'll start off with this entire unit throwing axes at your... What's the save on your phoenix? Uh, it's a 5 up. Okay, let's throw axes at him. I've got 16 dwarves in range to throw at the phoenix, so the other three I'll have to throw into, let's say, your prince, but we'll do against the phoenix first. Mm -hmm. Hitting on fours. Now I need five for the wounds against him? Yes. Okay, because of the aura. Three. And three five up saves. There's no rend on this, right? Correct. Okay. Taking two wounds. Down to ten. Now for the three into the griffin. Uh, fours and fours. Four up. One wound. Down to eight. As soon as I can find the eight. Where's the eight? There's the eight. Now throwing axes into your uh, prince Please. from the Hearthguard. Okay. So again, fours and fours. One. And no. done. Scratch that. Um, because I am within range, I get extra attacks for, I thought it was just melee, but it just says add to the attacks. Okay. Use against you. So the other four, actually we'll do all yep. seven at the same time. So fours and fours into the prince. So there's three. And no, nothing. Shooting from these guys, the pikes are going to go into your lore, into your prince, and then the axes into the um, guy straight ahead of them. Look the hit. Yep. Ugh. They are threes to wound. Gross. Any rend? Minus one rend. Five up save. So I take four, so I'm down to four. Now the axe is into the guy straight ahead. Uh, fours and fours. Three hits. Two wounds. Four up. Or Ren, oh I made it. Yeah, no Ren, but yeah, you're good. Do the axes from the heroes going into the Phoenix, just because they're all going to, with the throwing axes, I think I hit on threes, went down four, so I'll just roll them all at the same time. Yeah. Threes. One. Four. Five. Oh yeah, because of uh, Fang. Got it. And a five up or is there a rent on this? A five up, yeah. Okay. Nope, down to nine. On to charges. Uh, Hearthguard Berserker is going into your Dragon Prince. Okay. Uh, it's four inches for them to be able to make it in. And you made it. And I think I'll keep that seven. Any other charges? Um, these guys will declare a charge. Their closest target will be seven inches to get in. Okay. So we'll see if they roll. No. I uh, get the re-roll for Reckless. Right. So let's see if I can make it. Yep. All right. And eight's probably too far to get to the archers. Yep, eight's gonna be too far there. Okay. Oh well. So we're going into the Spearman. Making it right there. And the boss. Yep, Runefather's gonna charge. 10 inches kind of will, he's got options now. Where do you want to go? I don't really know. I really got to get this Phoenix dead, so he's going to just charge into. Right there? Yeah. Okay. All right, so start of the combat phase, I'm going to drink my Quicksilver po uh, potion. Yep. So Griffin gets to attack first. You bet. So he's going to do his pile in and leap. Six inches to here. Starting off, going to swing with the Lance, threes to hit. And then four is to wound. There's one wound. It is minus one rend. It's rear roll ones. Oh, right. That's really <laughs> cocked. <laughs> Try it again. There we go. There. So two at minus one rend. Okay. So they've got, yeah, five up save, which goes to a six up, which is going to be re rollable mm -hmm. because of being close enough to him. Nope. nope. Re roll. And. No. Nope. Doesn't save any. How much damage is it? That is going to be four damage. So they get to ignore on four ups because they are close to a hero. 
and one. Then the star blade hitting on threes and wounding on fours. Rerolling. No, you only re -roll. rerolling ones. Yeah. So just one. No rend. So no. five up. Yep. Reroll it. Rollable. And then a four up. Because it's single damage? Yep. Exactly. There you go. We got the beak hits on a four. Nope. And then four attacks of the talons hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. One wound. Minus one rend? Minus one rend. Six up save that's rerollable. Nope. Yep, there it is. and that's going to be it for all of his attacks, so I get to use my host ability, and I'm going to pick another unit to attack. So it's going to be the Silver Helms here, or not sorry, the Silver Helms, the Spearman, Spearman. attacking your... Volkite Berserkers. That's the one. So I've got 40 attacks here, I've got 20 dice in my hand, hitting on threes because it didn't move in the last movement phase. Oof. 11 hits so far, second volley. And wounding on fours is 27 hits. Solid. No rend means a four up save. That save re-rolls because of the battlesmith nearby. Taking four so far and then you got yep. the re-roll again. Now it's actually ignoring wounds and mortal wounds. Uh, you've killed enough that it's on a five up instead of a four up now. Okay. So fives. So two day. Kill, uh, we'll say one and two. Now you get to attack. Yep, it's gonna be up to the room father. Gotta have him get work done. So he will pile in. Okay. Ending closer, so I'll end up in base right here. And then he's gonna swing into that phoenix. Okay. Four attacks hitting on, sorry, three attacks hitting on fours. There's three Whoop. hits, oh boy. And then wound you on threes. Three wounds, and this is a minus one? Minus one rend. Six up. Nope, so down to six. Never mind, that's 12 damage, which just kills the phoenix. Yeah, the relic blade and it's base three damage. All right, so over to me then. I'm gonna have my Spearman pile in. Pile in like so, you got 14 that can swing, so there's 28 attacks coming in, if I can kill some. Hitting on fours. Oh, that's not good. Wounding on fours. <laughs> there you go. So we start off with a re-rollable five up armor save. So save two, re-roll, cocked. <laughs> so I've lost one so far, but I get to ignore wounds or mortal wounds on a four up because I got a hero close by. Nope, got one. killed one. Next up. Next up, um, there's been no swings over here, right? No. So let's have these guys swing in. Four attacks, hitting on fours, wounding on threes. That one's cocked, I'll re-roll it. One. Four up. Nope, one dies. So that's gonna kill this guy. Oh, my guys are gonna return the favor now, hitting on fours. And wounding on fours. One. Five up armor. No. Boop. Boop. And then the horses, hitting on fours. Nope. Next up. We're gonna have this unit of Hearthguard Berserkers pile in to make their swings. So they've all finished piling in? Yep, so I've got five. These are hitting on threes, wounding on threes. And I'm getting the extra attacks because yep. you got my gold. Threes to wound. Four wounds. Rend? Minus one rend, two damage each. Oh, so this is a five up save. And he's dead. Bring us on over to these guys and Pile in such a way that I should be able to get most of them swinging. So he's going to pile in closer. Whoop. And whoop. Five regular guys swing with the pole axes, hitting on threes. Now I'm going to go ahead, I always roll these out of order, but the way it works is for every hit I get um, on a three up, I cause a mortal wound in addition to everything else. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll that now. So three up to cause mortal wounds. So you're going to take one mortal wound. Okay, so one guy's just dead. And then I'm going to roll to wound with those hits, wounding on fours. Three. And rend on this? No rend. Okay, so they have a four up. 
And so two die. Protection has a five up, so three are dead. Well, well, well. The Carl makes his attack on a three up. Doesn't hit, so moot point. Now I've got this giant blob of anger. Eight regular guys able to swing. We'll do the Carl separately after. These are all going to hit on fours. We'll wound you on fours. Six up save. Four die. The Carl's swinging now. Same thing, fours and fours. Nope. So we've got some battle shocks here, starting off with this unit of mine. Um, I lost three. I'm yep. bravery six. So it's uh, d6 minus three you're going to flee. Yeah. You roll two dice. And I take the lowest, so one. Over here I lost four, so it's d6 minus four. d6 minus two. Minus two, sorry. So nobody. And everywhere else we're good, even a roll of six won't do anything. Yep, so that's going to bring us on to rolling for turn three. I'm not going to score any points at the end of my turn. Nope. I'm declaring I'm going to use my once per game ability to try to seize the initiative. Okay. So whatever I roll for this, yep. I get plus three, because I got three heroes left on the board. Okay. So Roller. Fire Slayer's going to roll. I can't catch her. Yep. So yeah, you get to go first. Hero phase will start off with Volcano's Call on to, because I'm close enough to get that uh, bolt thrower. You got three models there total, right? Yep. So on sixes, it's going to be Mortal Wounds. Uh, I'll roll for the two crew. Oh. Get one. Yep. And then the thrower itself on a six. No. no. So one crew dies. Sorry, uh, I'm going to do the rest of my hero phase. He's going to use his ability for the rerolls again, mm -hmm. the Battlesmith. And the same command ability I've been using the whole time. Now we're gonna have this big old unit of Hearthguard run, so six, or sorry, four plus another six. So ten. Where are they going? To get the objective. Yeah, I gotta get over there. The two here, I feel safe running them now. So we'll start off with the Battlesmith is gonna run four plus another five. Okay, where's he going? Uh, I just want him kinda into the edge of cover there. Gotcha. Friend of the Battlesmith. Yeah. He's gonna do much the same thing. And just go. Shooting will start over here with my orc hearth guard, putting shots into the horses. Fours to hit. Threes to wound. Ooh. Five up. Rerolling these because you're shooting at me. So one, two die. Axe is now going into the Silver Helm. Uh, fours and fours. Ugh. Might get him. Get angry, boys. Two, Two hits. Four up. He's good. 17 axes from these guys into the Spearman now. Fours to hit. Fours. Nothing. Huh. Uh, the six throwing axes now into these guys. Fours to hit. Ugh. And then. Fours to wound. Ah. Four wounds. Any rend? No rend. No rend. Okay, so they got a five up. Rerolling these because you're shooting at me. And two die. Just one single throwing axe, but he's going to throw it back at them. Ooh. So threes to hit. No. He literally threw it backwards and missed. And I have my unit of Volkite Berserkers go first. And pile, pile, and just kind of tuck in nice and tight. Yep. And then they're all going to punch me. That's the uh, the general consensus, yes, is I'm okay. going to have them all punch you. Well, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you didn't. But I'm going to. Okay, fine. Ten regular guys making their attacks. We'll do the Carl after. Mm -hmm. These are all hitting your guys on fours. Wounding on fours. Minus... Minus one rend. Six up. Two die. Carl swinging now. Fours and fours. And minus one or two. Minus one rend, but it's two damage. Nope. So there goes three. Nope, sorry, four. I forgot he killed two in the first one. Well, this unit here is going to pile in an attack, and I'm going to just take them off. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take them off the thing because they got all piled in. Piled in, getting 14 attacks. Getting on fours. Oh. That's still okay. That's still pretty good. 
Better than my Volkite sit against you. Fair enough. And wounding on three, so we didn't move. Hey, four. It's, yeah, if you didn't move the move. Excuse me, moving the movement, right? Yep. Five up save that's re-rollable for the Battlesmith being close by. Wah. And since the Battlesmith is close by, they get to ignore on four ups. Two. Still losing two. Ugh. Uh, we'll kill off these guys. Using my formation. These guys are going to attack next. Yep, yeah, Scroll Battalion lets you pick another unit in the formation. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Hitting on 4s, wounding on 3s. Not too bad. And... Ha! 5. Yep, so I get my re-rollable 4 up armor save. Only made one so far. I made a couple more. There you go. And then you get two ignore and a five up. Nope. I got one! Killed one. Ugh. Boss might as well. Oh no, they already attacked. No, we're gonna go over here. Okay. Let's murderize this guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Four attacks hitting on fours. He's alive! Attack back with the lance or the sword. That's a miss. And then the horse. That's a miss. Now the rune father's gonna go in, see if he can murderize some. Elfsis. Three attacks, hitting on fours. One hit. Wounded on threes. Uh-oh. Six up because of the minus one rend. Made uh -oh. it. Oh! Schmo's over here. Uh, three regular guys hitting on... It's hitting on fours. Yep. Two hits. And then they cause mortal wounds on threes. So one. There's one mortal wound there. And then they wound you on threes. No. no. So one wound. And then Carl? Then the Carl, he's going to hit you on a three. Nope. So, the uh, Battleshock test for these guys, they lost three, so dice minus three. Nothing there. And then these guys over here lost four, so dice minus four. Or sorry, dice minus two. two. Nope, we're good. And over here, this is going to be dice minus, like, one. He's okay. Again, not scoring anything for the dwarves, so we're going to go on to the high elves, turn three. Nothing to do in the hero phase for quirks, we're going to go right into movement. And I'm going to have all these guys move back and still stay within six. Yep. Yeah. No, I just need to have one guy within six, right? Correct. Okay, so he's going to chill right there, and then the rest of them are going to... Hoof it over that way? Just kind of scooch over this way so that they can try and shoot at them. I think I might use my... Volley ability where I get to fire twice as many shots. These guys are also going to move, so going six to here. So my bowmen are going to fire into the hard guard berserkers. That's the one, but they're going to use their volley ability so they get to fire twice as many shots. So this is going to be 20 shots hitting on fours, wounding on fours. See what you can get. Nine hits becomes. Two wounds. Okay, <laughs> I get my uh, five up re-rolling save. Well, I don't pass the save yet. Come on, boys. Nope. Oh. And then I get to ignore wounds and mortal wounds on a four up because there's here nearby. Ugh. There it goes. Well, let's do it again with these guys. Same thing. Twenty shots. Twenty shots. Fours. Fours. That's a bit better. Same thing, re-rolling five up saves. Let's see if I can roll better this time as well. Stopping three. No, those two were both cocked. I'll re-roll them both. Oh. Nope. So, two stops so far. And then I'm looking for the re-rolling fives. Three stops. And then four ups to ignore. Two. Still killed two. Uh, we'll go one and two. Six shots from here going into them. Threes and threes. Three's the wound. This is a minus one rend, right? Yeah. Got two hits. Uh, six up re-rolling save. Nope. Nope. And then ignoring on fours. Isn't it fives now? No, it's always fours for them if they're close to a hero. Oh. But you killed them anyways. Or no, there's oh, one there. You made one. 
still got the Carl left. And that's it for shooting, so right into close combat. Where do you want to start? This one. <laughs> wipe this guy out. You could not. I. Uh, He'll be fine. Fours and threes. Ugh. Threes. <laughs> oh, Davey. I'm gonna fart in here, you have to deal with it. Let's have them try and do something. Your rules are dumb. No. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve attacks. Fours and threes. Okay. And threes. Three. Four up re rolling armor save. <sighs> Didn't even need it. Opt to start over here, get these guys closer and in, into base contact. And we'll go whoop, whoop. That's going to be six attacks, hitting on fours, wounding you on threes. Two wounding hits, no rend. Four up. He's good. He's gonna attack back. Oh, that's a hit. That's a wound. Five up save. Killed a guy. Yes. And then the pony. Four. Four. No. I will go over here now. I can't make any real pylons. So, let's kill you. Eleven dwarfs swinging in, then the Carl after. So two attacks each, they're all gonna hit you on fours. Wound you on fours. Six up. Uh, three die. Next. Uh, yeah, Quirk's got nothing left to attack with, so I might as well make all my swings. Uh, the Lord's swinging in, looking for fours to hit. One. And then threes to wound. Yep. Minus one rend. So six up. Nope. Four so damage. Four. Over here. Over there, Carl's gonna swing. Uh, let me double check his stats. I always forget them. Hits on threes, wounds on fours. That's a so hit. He hits, wounds you on a four. Nope. Doesn't wound, but on a three, if I cause a mortal wound. Nope. No. Nope. So battle shock here. It's gonna be dice plus one. And there goes six. That's or sorry, there goes three. So there goes the, these three. Just fleeing. And battle shock here. On a six hill flea. Nope. No. And I scored another three points, putting me up to five. So roll off to see who gets to go next. Oh, probably you. Oh! Reroll. Quirk getting a four. Three. All right, I'm going to go first. Movement. I mean, I have nothing to do in the hero phase. These guys are just going to go over this away. And that's going to be it, because I'm happy with where they are. So shooting, I'm going to have these archers fire into him. Yep. Hitting on fours. Wow, that's one. Four. 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 Hey, I got one. Just fail all of these. Five up re-rolling. Nope, okay. So these archers are going to try it now. I Take the archers, yes, yeah. Thing. Fours. Hey, there's some more hits. And fours. Three. All right, five up re-rolling armor save. Got one, come on. Two, and then I get to ignore wounds and mortal wounds on a four up, so 50 50 chance he lives. Yes! Finally, he's dead! Not the Carl. Gonna fire six shots into that guy who's knocked down. The Battlesmith? The Battlesmith, hitting on threes. Oh! And wounding on threes. Oh, one. Rend and cover cancel each other out, so I'm on a four up save. The train got in the way, it was gonna be a one. Gonna declare a charge now. How far did they go? That's not far enough to get anywhere. Five inches? Yeah, uh, you're gonna get something probably. Cause you gotta get within a half inch. That's true. I'm gonna go for him. Going for the rune father? He's the father of runes. And they're gonna go first and pile in. And get their swings. 10 able to swing. Four is the hit. <laughs> okay. Four is the wound. Three. Put a four up save that re rolls. Uh, 
Okay, and then the lodge leader gives me something else to... And then four up, he's gonna try to pass those wounds onto this unit here. Mm -hmm. Passes one on. So he takes a wound, and then these guys get to ignore that wound or mortal wound on a five up. Nope. nope. So he takes a wound and one of them dies. Yes. And these two are going to attack. Ha! <laughs> Fours. Threes. Got one. Four pre rolling save. Oops. Re roll it. Over the five attacks into your silver helm, hitting on fours. Wow. That was bad. Attack back. Four. His horse is going to attack. Four. Four. Hey, I got one. Five up save. He did. <sighs> Rune Father's going to go first, swinging into the elves behind him. Mm -hmm. He hits them on fours. One. He wins them on three. None. Uh, let's bring the battlesmith in. So he'll pile into right here. His battle axe is hitting on threes, wounding on threes, with a minus one rend. Uh-oh. Six up. Reroll. Nope, there's three that go through. How much damage does it do? It's just single damage each. Okay, so three guys dead. Rune Master might as well try the same thing. He gets a five inch pile in because of the boss man. Two attacks, threes to hit, fours to wound. One wounding hit. Uh, no rend, one damage. Five up. Nope, that went through, so one guy dies. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the pile in. Um, I get a five inch pile in, so he's gonna pile in closer to this model and end up here in base. And I think that's about the, no. Maybe out of coherency, so he'll end up there. This is what the pile in looks like, so let's do all the swings into these guys. Uh, I get a grand total of four regular dwarfs able to swing. Scratch that, it was five. Hitting on fours, wounding on fours. There's two, technically all you need. One, no bend, five up. Nope, so one dies. Then the Carl. And then the Carl. Yep, that Carl. I'm gonna do his battle shock right now, I need double sixes to kill him, but, oh, okay, he's good. Four doors swinging into the spearman there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hit you on the big bad uh, fours. Roll that. Fours. Two hits at a minus one end. Okay, so it's gonna be a six up. Reroll the one. Nope, so one dies. Battle shock for them, dice minus one. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. And at the end of my turn, I'll score four points, so I'm at nine. Going on to Josh's turn four. Hero phase, gonna do your same thing you do every time? I'm doing the same thing I always do. Yep. Okay. Looking at the table, guys, as much as I hate to do it, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. With Quirk being at that many points, um, I hypothetically, I could have, if I had managed to kill off the Spearman units, been able to run and then charge and might have gotten the chance to table you. I won't be able to. Uh, the best I can do on this turn is run, and then you're just gonna charge me again, so I won't be able to charge you and get in there to kill your guys. Mm -hmm. So, good game, sir. Very good game. Awkward left-handed handshake. Uh, yeah, Spearman tied me up. I could not do anything about it. <sighs> now, this is the first time you played the Fire Slayers, right? Yes. What'd you think of them? They're annoying. They're like the Necron of Age of Sigmar with all those saves and ignoring sa like wounds. Tons and tons and tons. I don't like it, but I like it. But going back to the original point I said about them, I don't have enough mobility really in this army to deal with certain scenarios. Mm -hmm. If the uh, meteorite had dropped down in a more opportune spot, granted I didn't plan for it that well, yeah. um, but I thought I'd be able to get up the board faster at you. Mm -hmm. And just those spearmen, like I said, kept me tied up. Mm -hmm. the, the battle shock shenanigans you could do, yeah. and bad dice rolls. I mean, there's not a whole lot. No. Uh, how'd you find the High Elves? Is this the first time you played them in Age of Sigmar? This is the first time I've used the High Elves in Age of Sigmar. Um, I like them and I don't like them. I keep forgetting how squishy everything is, except for like your guys, apparently. Yep. Um, the fact that you were just like, oh, I'm going to just walk up and basically one-shot my Phoenix kind of hurt, hurt. He would have been able to, yeah, that would have been like a one-shot. Yeah, anyways. that was a one-shot because he did 12, needed 12 wounds there that I couldn't ignore. Um, yeah, so that kind of sucked. They, they seem like a glass cannon. They hit, they seem, they look like they hit pretty hard. Um, if you didn't have that many saves, I probably would have done a lot more casualties to you. Yep. 
but I like their speed. I like the fact that I've got the Silver Helms running 12 was a good way to get me engaged right off the hop and just pretty much tie up everything over here. Yes, sir. Which is what I did turn one because I was afraid the meteor might land over there and that meant you would be able to capture it and it, we would actually have to play this out. Yeah. So when it landed over here, I spread my guys out. Like I put the archers here and I had a unit of archers here and I had enough stuff here that I was like, okay, wherever it lands, I'll be able to get on it right away. And I feel like it sucks for you that yours landed way over there because you were very central. It happens. Um, there's a couple things that the, the viewers probably seen me do before mm -hmm. that helps with speed. Magma drops are speed 12 base, so mm -hmm. they help, but then they kind of leave the rest of the army behind. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another character, the Rune Smiter, I think, uh, who's able to take a unit at the beginning of the game and not deploy them. Ah. And then him and that entire unit, doesn't matter how big of a unit, can pop up anywhere on the board nine inches away from the enemy. Gross. So usually I'll take the shooting guys, I'll take a big unit of like 20 of them, mm -hmm. and then burrow and pop up on an objective. I wanted to try without it because it seemed like kind of a crutch for me, but yep. I might go back to that crutch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guys, uh, as always, any mistakes that were made, point them out. Thanks for tuning in. Leave some comments, leave some love, and as always, happy wargaming.